up everybody? My name is T-Ray and today we're going to be discovering all the tools inside this Swiss Army knife. Ooh. Cue intro music. So as long as I've lived with my husband, he's always had this Swiss Army knife and definitely used it for a multitude of household projects and so it's just, it lies around, it's out and about most of the time. Just by watching him use the tool for different things, I know there's screwdrivers and scissors and some knives in there, but I want to know what all the other things are. So today I thought we'd go through, take out each one of them and try and figure out what they are. So I went online to the official Swiss Army Knife website, found the exact model he has. This is the Champion model, so that means there are 33 different tools wrapped up inside this little thing. Now I did go ahead and print out the list, as you will all see, the list of what all the tools are. And so we're going to go through and try and match the tools to this list I have right here. To quickly read uh, all the tools we have, there's large blade, small blade, corkscrew, mini screwdriver, reamer, punch, and sew sewing, sewing all, that's all one, uh, can opener, screwdriver, three millimeters, bottle opener, screwdriver, six millimeters, Wire stripper, scissors, pliers, wire cutter, wire crimping tools, fish scaler, hook disgorger, that's 60, uh, ruler centimeters, ruler inches, wood saw, nail files, we're at 20, uh, 21, nail cleaner, metal saw, metal file, magnifying glass, Phillips screwdriver, half, screwdriver 2.5 millimeters, chisel, 4 millimeters, multi-purpose hook, toothpick, tweezers, pressurized ballpoint pen, pin, comma, stainless steel, and lastly, a key ring. Whew, that's a lot of things for this little little thing that fits in the palm of my hand. But, all right, let's go ahead and dive in. Oh wait, I need a pen so that way I can check off the items as we go, and then when we get down to the things we can't figure out, we're gonna call on the expert to answer those questions. I got I got my pen, I got my list. Let's let's dig in. So first off, let's start with the, the obvious. Uh, the, that must be, ooh, this, this comes out, so I guess that's a different part. So this, this is probably a mini screwdriver, right? Let's call this, the the tiniest screwdriver so the 2.5 millimeter screwdriver so first first thing it's so tiny like i've seen my husband fix his glasses with this so we'll call it a glasses screwdriver so that's number 26 on the list i'll include it down below so you can check it off as we go through it all right we know this is a corkscrew so look at us we're, we're doing great we already know what two items are put it back all i'm just gonna keep everything together so that way i don't lose anything well, we definitely have the, this is definitely the nail file, or I guess nail cleaner. So that is number 20 and 21, nail file and nail cleaner on one. So I got the, the file, excellent nail cleaner. So check, check, um, I guess, oh, and the metal file is on here. I know that, I've never used it, but I know that's what it is. Um, oh, I know what this is. It's a teeny magnifying glass. I see you. All right, magnifying glass, check. That's number 24. All right, put that back down. We got the big knife. Careful using this, it is it is sharp. So that's the big knife, large blade, check. And then we got the small blade right there next to it. Double blade, this this is very dangerous. Don't don't play with those at home, kids. All right, check, check. So we'll fold those back in. Make sure I'm in the frame. Watch my fingers. Oh, I know what this one is. This is the Phillips head screwdriver. Phillips screwdriver half check. This is the oh, this is probably the flat head screwdriver because you know, see, it's a flat head. Is that on the list? No, well, they don't actually list uh, flat head screwdriver, so maybe this is the three millimeter screwdriver. We'll call it that. We'll, we'll check that off. And this this looks like what do you think? This that could be a can opener. Or bottle opener? I'm not sure. We'll come back to that. Nope. Well, I know this is the key ring. So that's that's a little, a little dangle there so you can hook it on the things. So check key ring. Oh, and this is the, the ballpoint pen. I guess the pressurized pen. It does actually work. I was able to scribble with the paper. There we go. And just push it back in. Uh, this other, other one coming out here. This is the toothpick. Pen check. Check, check. Look at that. We have 12. We're already a third of the way, more than a third of the way through the list. We're doing great. 
I know more things than I thought. Okay, what else? So on the other side, oh, pull it out from this side and we got some, some teeny tweezers. So you got like a splinter or you just need to pick up something really tiny. Yeah, I got some dope tweezers. And there we go. All right, tweezers, check. Ooh, I found the ruler. Look at that, we got centimeters on there. If you can see that, if it'll focus. And then you do have inches on the other side. So yes, this is a double-sided ruler. That's everything. It only gives you like three inches and seven centimeters. So hopefully you're not measuring something too large with this. I wonder if this, this looks like some kind of saw and that might be a thing. Okay, I don't know what that is. So we'll, we'll leave that. Right, well, let's fold it back in. Got a pair of pliers. The pliers, check. Oh, and we found the just regular scissors. Those work really well, cutting little things, snipping. Here was this. Um, it looks like a knife. It's sharp. Maybe it's a sewing awl. I don't know what this is. All right, we're gonna we're gonna put it back and let let the expert tell us what that one is. So, uh, that's a hook. I know a hook when I see one. Hook disgorger. I don't know what you're disgorging with a hook, but there it is. That's like a little sailboat. It's cute. <laughs> oh, maybe that was the. Okay, so we got the hiss hook disgorger and the multi-purpose hook. Maybe that one was the multi-purpose hook. We'll have the expert tell us. Yeah, this is the chisel. Yeah, because it's got the, the little little end so you could like scrape away at things, chisel it down. So, oh, I see it. It's super tiny. Here, here's a super tiny little pin. Look at that. Little, little teeny little needle pin. So... It's like um like a pin cushion pin. Hold hold something, hold some fabric together. That's super tiny. So we found that. So we got the stainless steel pin. Alright, so I've pulled out all the things that I know where they are, so we're just gonna go ahead and pull out all of the objects so that way we can see them all at once. Oh, oh we found a new thing. So this is definitely a, a wooden saw blade. It's got some very jagged teeth that could definitely cut some wood. There's the can opener. Found it, found the can opener. Alright, check. Oh, maybe that's the can opener. Oh, okay, that's the bottle opener. That's the can opener. Cool. All right, cool. So that's everything on this side. Be careful if you're handling all these tools. They are sharp. This is a real dangerous tool. But, well, not necessarily dangerous, but can be dangerous if you don't know what you're doing. I eat me. All right, so since I'm stumped on what half of these things are, we're going to go ahead and call in the expert so he can help us find these last about 10 items that I've been able to get identify. So, Beeb, my lovely husband, will help us identify things. So, where is the mini screwdriver? The mini screwdriver? Yes. Okay. Can I close these? Yeah. Close it all that back down so I can find out the new things. Okay. All right. So, we're looking for the mini screwdriver. The mini screwdriver is here. Oh, that's the mini screwdriver. All right. Check. All right, and then the reamer punch and sewing sewing all. That'd be here. That's what that is. Okay, I was right. I was right with my guess. Sew with it. Yeah, that little needle threading hole. Uh, the six millimeter screwdriver. On the very oh. end of the can opener, right here. Oh, look at that multi-purpose. So that right there. Okay, so the wire stripper is kind of interesting. It is a two-part. It uses mm -hmm. this little notch. Uh huh right here oh. in conjunction with the large blade so the idea is you would put your wire in here mm -hmm. and you kind of rest it on the edge of the knife here and you'd rotate it and then strip off that end of wire all right wire stripper check okay the wire cutter then to go with that they are on the pliers oh they're on the pliers this little gap right here those are your wire cutters. And then the wire crimping tool. Right here. All right. On the other end of the pliers. Wow. The fish scaler. Yep. These little That's what serrations that. here to scale fish with. A metal saw. Did you find the hook disgorger? I think I I might have confused with the multi-purpose hook. Okay, so this is the hook disgorger. Okay. It's on the end. Metal saw. This bar here. What is it? Oh, I thought that was just a metal file. Oh. This is your metal file. Oh, it's the nail file. It's, well, this is the nail file, this end. Oh. But this coarser end, both mm -hmm. of them can be used to actually file metal because this actual piece is hardened steel as opposed to the rest of it stainless steel. Oh. And then there's serrations on the end here that can mm -hmm. saw through metal as well. Okay. It takes a really long time, but I have done it with this before. There you go. All right. 
And then the multi-purpose hook was the hook that I thought was the disgorger. Yes. All right, and that concludes all 33 different tools in the Swiss Army Knife Champion Edition. Wow, look at that. What are your, your final thoughts about the Swiss Army Knife? The Swiss Army Knife. You'll find a way to use it. Okay, you can go. Excellent. All right. So that concludes today's video of exploring what's inside a champ model of a Swiss Army knife. It was super educational, super informative. I'm glad to finally know what all these little bips and bobs do. So make sure to go ahead and subscribe to my channel and give this video a big thumbs up and leave me a comment what's your favorite tool in the Swiss Army knife or which one you think you would use the most. I'm still sticking with the, the corkscrew and the nail file as being my top used tools in it. Thank you all so much for watching. I had so much fun learning about Swiss Army Knife. Once again, I'm T-Ray and this is Sunshine Party. In all seriousness, I know the United States is in a, a lot of turmoil right now, so in my description I've included a link to a bunch of petitions and some donation sites that you can contribute to if you are able to help out with all everything that's going on right now. Black Lives Matter.